Hey guys, I'm Connor Byers. I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about how to find winning products on Shopify. I've seen a lot of videos like this on YouTube where guys will go through products, they'll show this is a good product, this is a good product, but I haven't really seen anyone show a formula and that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be showing you guys a formula so you can find winning products for yourself. Where's me formula, Plankton? So go ahead and smash that like button. If that interests you, it really helps me out and helps support this content. So the first step to finding a winning product is to find inspirations. Now I find inspirations all around me because you can see other dropshippers and what they're advertising. I go to my Facebook, I go to my Instagram, I go to my Snapchat, and nowadays I can even go to my TikTok. I spend time looking at the advertisements to see what these people are advertising. I don't know what your feed looks like, but right now my feed is pretty much entirely dropshipping products and I can show you how you can turn your feed into that too. When you're scrolling through your feed and you see a product that you think is a dropshipping product, it can be like $5, it can be $10. Click on that link every time you see one, and if you see a product that's only five or ten dollars, order that product. And as soon as you order that product, you order that five to ten dollar product, you are now what we call an engaged shopper. If you know anything about ad targeting, you know drop shippers love to target engaged shoppers. So now that you have that engaged shopper title on your name, pretty much all your ads at this point will be drop shipping ads. So when you're scrolling through Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, and you start seeing an ad a lot, you can bet this ad is making a lot of money. If they're willing to spend that much advertising on their product, then that product is probably having a pretty good return on investment. I've seen budgets of over $100,000 a day, people spending, and they're getting a return on that. So this is a company I saw a ton on Snapchat, even as soon as last week, and this is called Incense Falls, and the first product that started advertising was the Incense Falls. I'd see it all the time. And as we can see here, uh, they're selling for 30 bucks. Um, you can tap around in here, see exactly how they're doing it, see how they line up the site, $30, check out, free shipping worldwide. Okay, they're doing 30 bucks with free, free shipping. They're offering 10% off. They have a whole gimmick here. And we can bet this product's making a lot of money. So what we want to do while we're doing this and we see a product like this is we want to write it down. We say, okay, we found a product that looks like a winner right here. Let's write it down. And we keep going. We keep scrolling through and we'll find some other products as we're going down. But let's just use this product as an example and I'm going to show you where we go from here. So now the next step you want to do once you find this product is you want to search for it on AliExpress. Now you kind of just want to search for a description. It was called Incense Falls on the site, but it's an incense waterfall basically. So you just want to go ahead and search and now you're going to find your results. So from doing this, what you're going to be able to do is find what are their profit margins? Are they making good profit on this? Are there even suppliers at all? Is there someone to cater towards this audience? And third, is there a US supplier? So that's what we want to be looking at. Right here we see this one right here. So what you guys can do is you can go over the filter right here and you can hit ship from US and let's see what that sorts between. So this right here, this ships from the US. Let's select the actual product here. Ships from the US. So right to here, that's $13 to order the product, $13.50 plus $1.25 shipping from the US. So this means it's $15 to ship from the US. They're selling it for $30. From the US, that's a 50% profit margin. This is a good product. So now once you've repeated this process for three to four products, now you have some inspiration. Now I'm not advocating you guys go out and just straight up copy these products, but use these from inspiration. You see these type of products are successful, so how can you do it better? How can you find a similar product to ca capture a similar audience? Those are the things to think about when you're looking at these products. So by now you should have a sheet with several products where you can see the product name, if it's available on AliExpress, what the product margins are, and most importantly, can you get it from a US supplier? You can ship from China, but I always prefer working with US suppliers. Once you find these products, there's a formula I like to follow to figure out whether I can sell this product to the best of my abilities, and it's probably the easiest way to start finding products. When you're selecting your product, you want to find an unsaturated product. Now this means a couple things. If you see ads for this product on all those sites I mentioned, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, a lot, then this product's already on the end of its run. You don't want to get in at the end. If you're just starting to see the ads, it might be good enough to start. But if you've been seeing these ads for a while, then it's probably too late and you don't want to get involved in a product that's on its dying face. The other thing is to check Amazon. If you can find a product you believe is good and it's not available on Amazon and you think people will buy it, this is a gold mine. 
Amazon is one of the biggest retailers in the world and customers always go to Amazon first to make their purchases. So if you have a product that's not available on Amazon, then that's a very good product. Now the second step is just to get in the shoes of the buyer. What I like to do is I like to think in terms of interest groups. Now if you haven't done advertising before, interest groups are the groups that you target when you're advertising. So on Facebook, they can be demographic groups, such as age groups, parents, people who have certain interests. Now you wanna think in terms of these interest blocks. You wanna think, is there an interest block I can target that's gonna like this product enough to buy it at a margin where I can make money? Generally speaking, I target my products towards small groups of people, not a mass appeal towards pretty much everyone. And that's why they aren't successful. You want a small group of people that's very likely to buy your product, not a ton of people who are somewhat likely because the way we target nowadays is towards small groups through these interest groups. You just wanna think of a couple interest groups that work for you and the product. The second thing, if you're doing Instagram theme page marketing is you can think the same thing for theme pages. Is there a theme page out there that would buy your product? If I'm selling a makeup product, is there a makeup page that I know the audience there would buy the product? The third thing I like to look for is a profit margin. Now I like my profit margins on my products from AliExpress to be at least 50%. Now how do you choose the price you sell it? Look what other people are doing, look what the other listings are, and kind of just use your head. Think what's reasonable. How much would you pay for this product? You can ask your friends, you can ask family, ask whoever you need to just to find a, a good price. You don't want to make the price too high and you also don't want to make it low enough where you aren't making good enough margin. I like a margin of at least 50%. And when choosing a product, I don't like to choose a product that I'm going to be selling for less than $10. Otherwise the sales to me just aren't worth enough. So in summary here, use your social media to good use and look at the advertisements you're getting to see these products. I told you guys how you can become an engaged shopper and get these ads more. Look over them and make sure to write things down. Keep a sheet going so you can have all the information you need to. Use AliExpress as your guide and your tool to understand the margins on these profits, how these customers are getting these profits, and think in terms of a seller. When choosing your final product, understand the need to have an unsaturated product and also understand the need to think in terms of interest groups. This way you can market effectively when it comes to turning on your Facebook ads or to know what theme pages to promote your product to. Think with the end in mind and not the beginning. You don't want to complete 90% of the project and then realize when you get to the advertising stage you have no real clear market. When starting a business, the first thing people do is come up with a business plan, how they know it's going to operate. So you should do the same thing with your Shopify business. Once again guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you like this content. I'll be posting three times a week, as I said, and so I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm answering all your guys' comments, and also if you have any suggestions from this channel, I love to hear them. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.